he told the police uh, that he was in fear of his life. Here. Not to tell me where he's at. And uh, what a shock. They did not, he did not want the police knowing where. No, I. Oh, where he, Michael didn't want Angela knowing his location. He told the police not to tell her. People don't forget. How did it is, Socks, in our last video talking about the Dirty Bird and Michael situation, we discussed how she put out a wanted poster for him, returned, dead or alive. No, I'm just kidding, not dead or alive. But she did treat it like she lost a dog when it was, in fact, her husband that went missing. If he left on his own, he should have called me. And everybody in this town, I'm going to tell you, they say, Angela, he's walked off because he's waiting for third month to stay here. I don't want to believe that. And she didn't sound that concerned about his safety as much as saving face and trying to put herself in the victim position, even though she told him to leave, so he left. Because I asked him to go home because he doesn't love me. He made me disappear. That's it. We got a lot to talk about in this video, so make sure you stay until the end because so much has happened with this Michael Angela situation. The dirty bird is out of control, living in her ego, surrounding herself by yes men that pretend to be 90 day fiance bloggers. But here's the problem with this. If you're a 90 day fiance blogger, but you're friends with the cast member and you put them on a pedestal and you just agree with everything they say and try to push their narrative, are you really a credible source? No. Nobody suspects that I'm godly because of the way I act. But you go anywhere in hospice, old people I took care of, their families, you know what I tell you? I would have no one yeah, take care of Yeah, I mean, Angela worked hospice. I would have no one take care of my mother but her. That's tough. What did I say? Did I say Scotty? Yeah. They would have no one take care of their mother but me. What does working hospice have to do with abusing your husband, Michael, both on and off national TV? You wore a smile at work and were friendly with old people you were getting paid to take care of? Oh, wow, Angela, you're such a good person. I am not Chantelle. I am not Danielle. I am not Molly. You got the wrong goddamn American. I'm telling you now. I watch way too much true crimes content. So if you're trying to go for the route of she's a good person because she worked hospice, what about all the medical serial killers there were? I made a drink up and I called it Michael because the color looks horrible. Like, like. Hey, Mima, I know you have a lot of experience with underage kids, especially because your daughter was sending underage boys at your house. But have you ever heard that saying, Michael's rubber and you are glue and everything you accuse him of, that shit gets bounced off of him and sticks to you? She's my wife. Yes, I know she's your wife. But she's a grandma. I don't care what they say about my marriage and the age difference. I love my wife, Angie. Man's not said one bad word about you publicly. Meanwhile, your entire career is built off embarrassing and abusing Michael on TV. This you are the one I trust. You want to you want baby a man? You, you want to baby a man that broke my heart? And you constantly remind everyone you are an American, which is jokes, because the majority of us would rather see Michael stay in this country and you leave. No amount of yes men or IG stories are going to convince the audience of this show that you aren't a complete piece of shit. You know, this, you know, this is all in a very elaborate It's a shock. Plan. I thought he's gonna do that when I asked him to go home. That's the only way, he, he don't want the business. Send me home. I honestly think never I honestly never thought he'd ever get here, to be honest with you. And how unprofessional is this live? There are first graders that take their class presentations more seriously than they took this live. We have a plethora of footage already of you abusing Michael, so welcome to America, Michael. Hopefully you find a kind, nurturing woman that doesn't look like a walking, talking ball sack and howl like a demon when you point out an obvious character flaw. But that's a reoccurring theme with Angela because she can't handle criticism. Liz, on The Last Resort, told Angela to stop speaking over over everyone. She took it as a personal attack, got in Liz's face, threatened her with physical violence, and that's a reoccurring theme with Angela. She can't sit with an uncomfortable feeling without resorting to violence. There have been many petitions made over the years to get the Dirty Bird fired by TLC because, believe it or not, it's actually not fun to watch someone get away with abuse on national TV and get paid for it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Angela is so heartbroken about the situation. I can't even get a word out of her. 
Meanwhile, the dirty bird's in the background asking for sage. Angela's not a, well. She's she's right next to me, but uh, she's if she was just on TikTok for a hot second. So, um, Can you bring a cigarette, since I made my last Angela and Michael video, there have been a lot of developments. 90 Day Fiance update posted this on Instagram. Michael and Angela were married in Nigeria the beginning of 2020, which means Michael was probably granted an IR1 visa, which is permanent residency. Angela saying Michael is trying to scam for a green card is not correct. The law is that if you have been married for two years or more, your visa turns into an IR1 visa, which grants you permanent residency upon arrival in the US. Making up a DV claim wouldn't be needed because Michael already has permanent residency. Then for the caption she wrote, Michael most likely has a green card and hit the road, dot, dot, dot. No need to claim domestic violence, dot, dot. Thanks to everyone's input on this. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about this, but given the way that the Dirty Bird has demeaned and abused Michael, not only on camera, but off camera throughout the years, everyone understood why he would want to distance himself from this woman because she's very violent. Come on. Shut your mouth. And speaking on all the abuse that Michael has experienced by being in this relationship with the Dirty Bird, have y'all seen the news that she tased him? Michael got tasered in the face in Las Vegas and slept in the hotel lobby they made up. That's all I could take away from her absolute horrid sounds. It happened a month ago. They made up after that, but haven't made up this time. Her saying money talks and bullshit walks and then going on about how Michael didn't have any money when she met him. Well, guess what? She didn't have a pot to piss in either. TLC, get your head out of here. Can this piece of woman, I can't believe TLC let it get this far. This better not all be manufactured by them to generate interest in their HEA season. Honestly, when the story first broke, I looked at it with a certain level of scrutiny and disbelief because the timing of it was interesting because every time Angela is going to appear on one of these TLC spinoffs, there's always some kind of fight that breaks out. She always causes some kind of mayhem and gets in trouble and it's publicized and many news sources report on it. So at first, I thought Michael was just just hiding out in the backyard to be honest with you like I thought that he was in on tricking everyone and claiming domestic violence because it would you know improve how many eyes were on them before they went on happily ever after as I said in my past video Angela Dean was on the Murray show she's been chasing fame for a very long time and it seems like when honey boo boo got canceled she slid in that space and now she's TLC's go-to for a violent hillbilly. Angela is a pathological liar for a number of reasons, but the main reason, and I think that this is the huge problem that the majority of fans have with her, is that she constantly rides this narrative and tries to set this narrative on every spinoff show she goes on and off camera that Michael is a scammer and he's using her for a green card. You're using Michael to go on all these TLC shows and rip money because you weren't financially abundant before you entered this relationship and went on these TLC shows in the first place. You use 90 Day Fiance and all of these shows to build your bag up. And I'm sure that you told Michael that you would be partners on this, right? You'd split the money with him, you'd pay for his bills. Don't get a job over there in Nigeria, Michael, because I have jealousy issues and I don't trust you around women. I've covered that numerous times in past videos. The Dirty Bird will constantly give Michael ultimatums. And one of them was that he's not allowed to work a job in Nigeria. And in return, she would financially support him. It's very ironic how abusers disguise this financial support at first because it turns into financial domination. There's that six, baby. Hey, Angel. <laughs> you disrespect him in a way that you would feel so disrespected if he moved the same way as you move. And I think that's the real problem is that you're a hypocrite because you want to isolate him. You don't want him to hang out with friends. You don't want him to flirt with women or even be around women. You don't trust. But the reason why you don't trust is because you can't be trusted. Because even on that show, The Last Resort, you showed up at the resort and you're supposed to be working on your marriage with your husband that's in Africa, right? However, as soon as you showed up, you flirted with the bellhop. Well, you're a nice looking man. Are you married? Nope. You're not? I'm not. You made advancements towards the guy getting your luggage and transporting you to the room that's obviously not interested in you. And then later in that season, you hit on the waiter. Are you okay? Look, no, you blushing too long. My husband's from Nigeria, but I'm, we might be getting divorced. <laughs> <laughs> You're next in line, Diego, is what yeah. she's saying. But if Michael hit on any girl, you would lose it, yell at him, call him a bunch of slurs, 
And if you were in person, probably put your hands on them because you've done that in the past. So you have a whole history of abuse, violence, and doing your partner dirty in a way that you wouldn't want him to do you dirty. If I was Michael, I would feel really upset that people accused me of scamming this woman when I've been scammed by this woman. You know what I mean? She didn't need to move like this. The first season that they went on, it seemed like her and Michael were really into each other and they had a lot of sweet, cute moments. Were there things to work on? Absolutely. But over time, it's very clear that Angela got more violent, she got more affected, and you can tell that the fame went to her head. And she started cutting Michael out of decisions that they should both be making as a couple. For example, the plastic surgery. She did a lot of things for herself, even though they made that money together by going on the show together. And I'm sure that it was presented in a way where, you know, we're gonna be life partners, it's our money. And Michael said our money, because that's the way that it was presented at first. There's that saying, right, that money and fame changes people. And with Angela, we can see that that was the truth because there was a change. You can fact check me on this. There have been many points both on and off the show where Michael has brought up our money and Angela has freaked out on him and said, why do you feel entitled to my money? Gee, probably because he's your punching bag on this TV show. He deserves half of the bag that you're getting from going on the show in the first place. But that's why she said that she would financially support him so that she could give him just the bare minimum to survive in Nigeria, not an abundance, not a fun to go out on the weekend with his friends, just the bare minimum to live on and she could keep him isolated. And then what happens? He moves to Georgia and all of a sudden he's the babysitter for all the grandkids. He's not allowed to have a phone. She took his phone away. Check this out, Sots. We got another inbred with the wrong take saying, he scammed her. And then someone with the brain claps back, nah, apparently within two days of Michael getting to the United States, Angela confiscated Michael's passport, IDs, and destroyed his cell phone. His family was worried because they couldn't get in contact with him, so they called the police to do wellness checks on him. Apparently, Angela beat the shit out of him for that. She also made him a bank account and took the debit card so he couldn't have access to his money. Apparently she always locks him in the house when she leaves, but this time forgot to lock the house, so he made a break for it. Yeah, this is a classic DV situation. Yeah, how do you take a picture of the passport if mama locked it up? <laughs> he took a picture of what passport? He, his passport, you locked it up. Oh, and and, 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 and ripped it to and ripped it to And you got it right. Since Michael fled the Dirty Bird compound and this news broke out, he made this video talking about the situation, but because of legal reasons, not going into great detail. Hello guys, this is Michael. I uh, just want to quickly make this video to inform the public that I'm not any social media platform right now. I mean, at this moment, when the time comes, I'll make it official, okay? Thank you and God bless. The follow-up video will be out soon where we cover our own 90-day version of that movie, Get Out, starring the Dirty Bird and Michael. I'm happy he ran and got out of there. Don't ever go back, man. She's never going to change.